presentation of TFNN. The Tom O'Brien Show is produced every business day. Tom takes your phone calls toll-free at 1-877-927-6648. Internationally at 727-873-7618. Let's go to Eddie in Boca Raton. Hey, Eddie, what's going on? Hey, Tom, how are you, man? I'm doing great, man. Yourself? Good, good. It is a treasure to have TFNN every hour during the trading day to be there to help you, to guide you, and even to give you some peace of mind or like that, that somebody else is there with you while you're, while you're trading this crazy market, either well, up or down. Well, listen, we appreciate you growling and prowling us out here because we wouldn't be out here, folks, if we didn't have all you guys, gals, tigers and tigresses as clients. And, you know, the market teaches you every single day, man. Now, Tom O'Brien. <laughs> Welcome, folks. This is Tom O'Brien of TFNN. We go five days a week. We go seven hours a day. We go 24 hours a day in the internet at TFNN.com. Always remember, folks, whatever you think about, you bring about whatever you focus on grows. Hope everyone's having a great day, safe day. Let's make it a great night and a great week, folks. You are responsible for your own happiness. Happiness never comes from outside of you. If you put your happiness in someone else's hands, they can always take it away. Happiness can only come inside of you and as a result of your love. Market-wise, let's take a look at it out here. We have the Dow Industrials up 80, NASDAQ up 130, S&P's up 20, gold contract down $4.20, trading at 1960 an ounce. We have silver down 11 cents, $25, 7 cents an ounce. Lights we crude off a of buck 35, $74, $0.07 cents a barrel. Notes and bonds. A 10-year note trading up four ticks at 112.22. The 30-year up two ticks at 126.16. And King Dollar. King Dollar trading down 86 ticks, 99.828. Euros 112, yen's 138. And the British pound is at 130 to 1 US dollar. Our phone number is 877-927-6648. Let's call, folks. Want to know what's going on in your world? In the world of the S&Ps, let's take a look at them. What do you have? Well, bottom line, we're going to come up and test these highs of Friday. Where are you, baby? Here we go. And you get a nice contraction of volume, that's for sure. Yes, you get so much trading, no doubt about that. But the bottom line is that it would be better if you want higher prices if this went down versus up. So the high of Friday was 451.36. We've hit 451.13 thus far. Friday, which was light volume too, 69 million, you get 31 now. So we'll probably do about, I don't know, maybe 45. We'll see if we can even do 45. Now, if we take a look at the S&P, this is where it get, get a little bit interesting, is that the last time that we had some juice here, we pulled this back, and this is what I talked about just in the update, was the 45, 43. So that's 13 points. You know, we'll see how this shakes out. Yeah, but that's game. That is game. NDX 100, same type of setup inside the NDX. You, you're going up, you're going into the highs. Into the NDX, the, right now you, we're doing 28 million. On Friday, we did uh, 55, so that'll do about 40. The high there on Friday was 382.86. We've hit 382.55 thus far. If we get into the NQs and take a look at the NQs, you're going to see the 15,781 is the number. Same type of setup. So we'll see how this baby shakes out. There it is right there. Coming across right there. So you can see even when we had that slight downdraft four bars uh, right after 12 o'clock, there wasn't really volume even on those bars. There's not volume on the way up and there's not volume on the way down. That's what's happening out here. Gold. We go to the gold contract. Gold did re reject lower price, has lighter volume, so gold's still on its way up to this uh, uh, 2,000, 2,100 area. No, 2,100, 2,103, I think it is. Yeah, 2,102. Um, this is, this, now, this is going to get cool because this could, well, it is set up the A to B, the B to C. So if we start charging forward once again, you're going to see the contraction is, is huge, man. We went higher out here with uh, 271,000, hit a high out here at 241,000, rejected 
1949 with 15,000. 157,000, right? I'm sorry. So we go up with 272, make a high with 241, reject the low with 157. That's setting up that it wants higher price. It very well may have just set up an ABC structure on the way up. Notes and bonds. Now, notes, this is notes and bonds. They, they got back inside the range. So notes and bonds are saying they also want higher price, lower yield. What we have here is that once we got back inside the, on the 10 year, this is the 110.22. Well, bottom line, take a look at this. You know, we'll see how, how much juice we can get going here. But what we did do, we spiked that low, got above that low, had some juice getting above that low. So I suspect we're going to build some cause to try to get through the 113.06. And right now you're at 112.21. And all of this is right here, baby. This is, if you can figure out just where this dollar is going to go every day, you're going to be in good shape. Because the, the dollar, the market is so sensitive to the dollar, it's amazing, actually. So we have out here with the dollar. The dollar got to 100.18 today. Gave it up in spades. It looks to me that the dollar does want to do a small bounce. We'll see, though, um, because that's on a short-term basis. A long-term basis, look at this, man. I mean, this, this is saying markets want to go higher. Gold wants to go higher. Everything wants to go higher, man, because this is a concise break downtown, man. And your next stop, even in the dollar, is down here at the 96 area. You break the 96 area, and you're down into the 89 area. You know, so you can see that's a, that's a nice break. Now, normally when you get a break like this, pull this back, normally what would end up happening, particularly because this was a huge consolidation and went on for so long, this consolidation that broke was just about a year. Yeah, was it a year? Let's see. Yeah, just about a year. And, oh, no, hold on. Yeah, no, no, Jan half a year, January. So bottom line, most times what you're going to see is that you can, you can come back up to that trend line. Then, then it blows away once again. Some of the higher volume equities we have out here today, let's take a look at them. You got Marbell is down um, 90, that's a big number. No. Yeah, 92 cents. Uh, at 1351, you got Tesla up uh, eight and a half dollars. We have uh, Verizon off 246. Inside the NDX 100, the strength versus the weakness out here. You got uh, on semiconductor is up four and a half percent. Z scale is up four and a half percent. Lucent the car make is up 4.4. Taken away for Peps. Yeah, PepsiCo is down 1.4 percent. You have American Electric off 1.3. Warner Brothers is down 1.2. And XL Energy is off. 1.2. Our phone number is 877-927-6648. You stay right there, folks. We're coming back with our man, Mr. Steve Rhodes. We have the Dow Industrials up 102. NASDAQ up 133. S&P's up 21. We'll come right back. Currencies, commodities, and bond markets are as important as ever right now with how they're driving the volatility in equity markets across the globe, which is why it's a great time to try out Teddy Kegstat's Tiger Forex Report. Teddy Kegstat breaks down the Forex markets every Monday using his 30-plus years of experience as a trading veteran of futures, Forex, stocks, and options. Teddy releases his weekly Tiger Forex Report every Monday morning with coverage of all the major currency pairs, including the dollar index, the euro dollar, pound dollar, dollar Swiss, dollar yen as well as many more and he also has weekly coverage of the crude oil market and the 30-year t-bonds as they both influence forex markets tremendously when you sign up for the tiger forex report you also gain instant access to teddy's 60-minute webinar archive he just hosted forex strategies and fundamentals what is behind the tiger forex report for all the details and to start your 30-day tiger forex report subscription today visit the front page of tfnn.com tfnn educating investors are you ready to take your trading to the next level? 
Introducing Tom O'Brien's award-winning newsletter, Market Insights, your key to successful active trading. Tom O'Brien, renowned for his expertise in the financial markets, has designed Market Insights to be your daily guide to profitable trades. Tom publishes his daily Market Insights newsletter every market day before the market open, along with updates when warranted. Stay ahead of the game with Tom's real-time analysis and trade recommendations delivered straight to your inbox. Whether you're a seasoned trader or just starting out, Market Insights provides the edge you need to navigate the markets with confidence. Ready to join the ranks of successful traders? Head over to TFNN.com and subscribe to Market Insights today. Don't miss out on this opportunity to supercharge your trading results. Market Insights comes with a 30-day money-back guarantee for all new subscribers, so you have nothing to risk. Don't miss out on this opportunity to revolutionize your trading game. Head over to TFNN.com right now to join the thousands of traders who have already experienced the power of Tom O'Brien's award-winning newsletter, Market Insights, firsthand. TFNN, educating investors. Everything in the universe is governed by the Fibonacci sequence. This mathematical principle is responsible for everything from the most aesthetically pleasing artwork to patterns in the stock market. To stay on top of stock patterns you can take advantage of, sign up for the Fibonacci 24-7 newsletter at TFNN.com. When you subscribe, you'll get a weekly report from veteran day trader Larry Pesavento on stocks you need to pay attention to. And you can trust Larry's analysis. After all, he's got 45 years experience as a day trader. Larry will also provide daily charts, videos, and data on the key markets that he's tracking. Expect notifications from Larry on market movement you need to act on at any time. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. Subscribe to the Fibonacci 24-7 newsletter today. TFNN.com. Educating investors. Call now, toll free at 1-877-927-6648. Internationally at 727-873-7618. Welcome back, folks. So Dow. Dow Industrials right now trading up 96. You get the NASDAQ up 138. S&Ps are up 21. Let's get over to our man, Mr. Steve Rhodes, as we do each and every Monday at 20 past the hour. And don't forget, folks, Steve not only has a great show at TFNN every trading day, he has a great newsletter in Mastering Probability. Now, it's very easy to get Steve's newsletter. Come over to our website at TFNN. You go into newsletters, you're going to see it on the right-hand side, Mastering Probability. You can get Master and Probability for one month for $149. You can get it for six months for $695, which is the savings of $199 or 22%. And you can get it for one full year for $1,195, which is a savings of $593 or 33%. Now, they all come with a 30-day money-back guarantee. So the bottom line is that you can go over there. You can check it out. Steve has a huge amount of information on It'll be your page when you get over there that you really understand how Steve looks at the market every trading day. Huge value, big time. Steve Rhodes, what's going on? Well, just enjoying the heat of the summer, so to speak. Yes. You know, I, I, yes. I, I, went out, I hadn't played golf for a couple months because of my trip overseas. Yeah. Finally got out yesterday or on uh, Saturday. You know, playing golf in uh, Florida in the summertime, it's the only thing I could do where I can go out play a game of golf and come back four or five pounds lighter. <laughs> you know, that's, that, that's for sure. Well, Rory wasn't four or five pounds lighter. That was freezing over there, wasn't it? Uh, yeah, you know, that's a, but what a really an extraordinary match over in Scotland. Um, you know, he the two shots that he had to hit to win the tournament on 17 and 18 were, were really, you know, amazing shots. I think he I, th I think I saw an interview last night where he thought that maybe I was one of the one of the better shots in his life. Yes, no, that's what he said. That, that, that's know? what he said. You know, it was a shame if you didn't see this, folks, okay? I mean, he's he's amazing anyway, but, and the pressure was on and he needed this last birdie and he got it and I can understand why the, the cameras couldn't get it because everyone was around the 18th, right? Did you yes. see that? Like yes, everyone's yes, yes. sitting there waiting like, oh no, I can't believe we can't see this shot. <laughs> I, I know, yeah, and then, I know. I and then and then the way he reacted, folks, was so cool because he, I, I says, there's a couple different things you can take from that, like, oh, my God, I actually finally did it. Uh, yes, That yes. was just a classic, like, oh, I love it. That was pretty cool, man. Yeah. yeah, and it was a good good sports day overall, you know, for summertime yeah. with uh, with Wimbledon, you know, great match between oh, Alcaraz yeah. and, and, and uh, Crazy. Um, yeah. Yeah, 
you know, really, really. And then you so guys are really game. scoring with Messi. I mean, oh, this is a goodness. whole different ball game, man. Friday they, night's going to be insane over there. Yeah, yeah. Cheapest ticket, two hundred bucks. That's the nosebleed yeah. section. So yeah. I'll, I'll go down there. I'm just going to wait. You know, yeah, to, oh, for, it's for, worth it. Yeah, yeah. I mean, yeah, I got. Absolutely. I'm not even into soccer, but guess what? That's what happens like, with a Messier, right? <laughs> yeah, you watch him play, and so it's going to be perfect for it's going to be perfect for South Florida. So it is. Looking forward. So uh, the first charts that I actually have up on my screen, it wasn't really preparing on, on discussion this, but it actually kind of follows through with with the uh, with the discussion I want to have today. And that discussion is: Has gold made a major bottom? But you were talking about earlier. Just before I came on, you know, if we can figure out what the U.S. dollar index is doing, then you can figure out a number of other elements in the market. So what I've got up here, I've got the futures contracts for the euro, the yen and the uh, Great British Pound. The three uh, currencies that are going to impact the U.S. dollar index more than anything, more than the loony or the uh, the uh, Swiss, uh, the Corona or the uh, the Frank. Yes. Here, if we take a look at the euro, which is the upper left hand side, and I've got the futures contract up. It's same thing if we looked at the currency pair. Today is going to form bar number eight, Tom, um, of what I refer to as a TD nine count pattern. Okay. And 90% of the time, when bar eight successfully makes the high of that pattern, here we're talking about tops, it will go out and actually complete the pattern. What needs to take place tomorrow is the close needs to be above the close of this bar, bar number five. And that close on the futures contract was at 1.1176. Odds favor that this will complete a TD9 count top tomorrow, regardless of whether price trades higher or lower. Now, the pattern itself doesn't complete until Wednesday. It can form on the bar following bar number nine. So the euro is signaling to you and I to prepare for the U.S. dollar index to form some type of bottom uh, with I think it's about 57 percent for the euro. If we take a look at the Japanese yen, you got to kind of reconfigure this here because I'm using the future contract. But here's what I really want you to know about this is price has made a rally right up to the solid green line and that is the breakdown resistance level. So that is held. Sometimes a pattern can be just getting back to support or resistance. So in this case here, the yen has gotten back to a resistance level. And if we take a look at the Great British Pound, we see A to B equals CD patterns for both the Euro and the uh, Great British Pound. But the Great British Pound is going to complete a TD9 count top today. It's going to confirm that pattern today. It'll complete the pattern tomorrow. So what should take place here, Tom, if we take a look at the uh, Great British Pound and the Euro, both of those should pull back to their, to their green oscillator and change lines out there. So that should at least, we should see some type of rally. I believe it would begin by about Wednesday or so in the market for the, for the U.S. dollar index. So I just thought I'd throw that out there. Any questions about, about that, those charts? No, no, no. Perfect. Okay. So let me change windows here because what I thought we would do is I would – that's weird. Okay. Here we go. Got to my screen. Okay. And the, the question that I pose for everybody out there is has gold made a major – has gold made a major bottom? So here's what I'm taking a look at. Well, one of the things that I know, and folks, you can go back there and study this too, when gold makes a major top, same thing for the S&P 500, it does so in all the major currencies at about the same time, usually right on the same day. Gold priced in U.S. dollars generated its all-time high the week of August 7th, all the way back here, 2020. Whereas gold priced in euros, yen, Great British pounds, they've gone on to make newer highs. So the point of this chart is we have not seen an all-time high in U.S. dollars, not based upon the fact that the markets, when they do top, they'll do it all at the same time. This is gold priced in all major currencies. Here I've got the yearly charts out here. And uh, they, they real bull markets, we're going to see price rising all at the same time. So that's something to take into consideration. Here, if I go down from a yearly chart, Tom, to a monthly chart, we can see the rally off of the uh, 2018 August lows out here rallied right into uh, August of uh, 2020. It shouldn't be August 2020. I don't think it was August. It was July of 2020. Uh, might have been August. So the August 2020 top out here then led to a bottom for gold price in euros, yen, and pounds in March of 2021. So I want people to notice this. The left-hand chart here is in U.S. dollars uh, on the upper left-hand corner. Then we've got it gold priced in uh, in uh, euros on the upper right-hand corner. Then in yen on the lower left, pounds on the lower right. And what I want folks to really pay attention to is when the low in the other currencies took place. And that was in March of 2021. You can see that in the bottom left here. Whereas inside the U.S. dollar, that didn't take place until November of 2022 out here. So what we can see here is that uh, gold has been rallying in euros, yens, and pounds since that bottom. It's something to really consider. Now we take a look at 
gold here. It's gone to make new all-time highs. Again, price in euros, yen, and pounds, but not so in terms of U.S. dollars. Again, this is just telling us a major top has not formed for gold. This is the monthly chart for gold. This shows that it's rallied from 1999 to 2011 during a major bull run out here. The important thing to take a look at here is on a monthly basis, all those retracements were two bar knee-jerk reaction lows. And if we take a look at where we're at right now, what took place in June, we had a two-bar move to the downside. And so when I put all that together, that indicates to me that we may have the potential for a major bottom that is going to start in gold and move to the upside. This is the daily chart for gold. It uh, generated a wave number seven bottom. If you take a look at the daily time frame, it generated a TD nine count bottom. If it gets over, it generated a Rhodes Midtum indicator bottom. The weekly charts are have broken through resistance levels. I believe, Tom, that gold has made a major bottom. And folks, it's very easy to get Steve's newsletter. Come over to our website at TFNN. You go into the newsletter, you're going to see it right on the right-hand side. Steve, you have a great one, safe one. Of course, we look forward to the show tomorrow morning. Thanks, Tom. Take Thanks, care. man. Stay right there, folks. We'll come right back. The Gold Report. As a precious metal, gold is still king. It continues to hold the most effective safe haven and hedging properties across the global major trading hubs of the London OTC market, the U.S. futures market, and the Shanghai Gold Exchange. The Gold Report. Tom O'Brien publishes his weekly gold report every Monday morning for subscribers, consisting of coverage of the XAU, HUI, GDX, the dollar, bonds, the South African Rand, as well as 25 different mining equities with specific buy-sell recommendations. The Gold Report. New subscribers get a 30-day money-back guarantee so you have nothing to risk. Subscribe to Tom O'Brien's Gold Report newsletter now at TFNN.com. Sharpening your skills as an investor is like getting better at playing a musical instrument. You have to practice, sure, but you also need excellent instruction from experts. At TFNN, you'll get advice and guidance from the authority in technical market analysis. And it's not just dry, tedious text either. TFNN airs live financial content streamed live on TFNN.com and TFNN's YouTube channel with Tiger TV. Live every market day from 8.30 a.m. to 4 p.m. Eastern for free. Each host is an experienced trader and gives their take on the market while taking calls and questions live from around the world. From the moment the market opens until the closing bell sounds, Tiger TV has eight different shows with expert hosts to help you make the right moves with your money. Watch online at TFNN.com or on TFNN's YouTube channel and become the investor you were born to be. TFNN, educating investors. TFNN has just launched their new trading room, The Tiger's Den, hosted at Discord. TFNN has been educating traders for more than 20 years with live programming hosted by a variety of professional traders during market hours. And now they are expanding their reach with The Tiger's Den, available to all tigers and tigresses for just $1 for the year. There's no catch or added costs when you join our community of traders. In The Tiger's Den, you can look over the shoulders of Tom O'Brien and the other TFNN hosts while they analyze charts during their live Tiger TV programs and join an interactive trading community with hundreds of members exchanging ideas. Interact with other Tigers and Tigresses as they share trading ideas, news analysis, and discuss the market action all trading day, even at night and on the weekends. The Tiger's Den at Discord is accessible on mobile or tablets as well, so it's always at your reach. To sign up today and become a part of this educational community of traders, just visit the front page of TF. FNN.com. Don't forget, you can listen to TFNN live on your mobile device 24 hours per day. Go to TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. That's TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. Welcome back, folks, to Dow. Dow Industrial is up 125, Nasdaq's up 147, SPs are up 23. Now, check this out. This I talked about this last week, man. So, we just, when I was just speaking with Steve, we just got a spike high. Check this out, man. This is pretty cool. So, you know, you've had a slow grind all day up, 
right? Look at this bar. You came in, now you got a spike high. Now watch this, this is what's really cool. So you got a spike high with 29,000 contracts, okay? Now the next bar, which is a sell down, wasn't the high. The next bar, you got 45,000. So what's happening here is that the spike came in, the spike had light volume, but they spiked it up, they got it over the highs. Traders, once they got it over the highs, sold into this, they probably got stopped out first, then they sold right back into it again. So this is gonna be really intriguing coming into the close now, because if we go into the SPY, you're gonna see the same type of setup. And this is what happens if, you, well, I think we're close to highs, but this is what does happen at highs. The spikes are where it's at, man. So check it out. So inside the SPY, you got the spike high with 1.1 million uh, shares, and then you got the sell down with 1.8 million shares. So you very well are gonna get a failure on price and volume today. That's how this shakes out. We'll see if it, it and what I mean by that specifically is that you, what you need is that you need to close below 451.36 inside the SPY. You need to close, because you're not gonna get the volume. Inside of the queues, you need to close below 382.86. And right now the queues are above it, the spy's not above it. So this is gonna be this is gonna be a fun little close. That's that's the bottom line. That's and you can see that if you're in front of a machine at that point, that's that came out of nowhere, man. It just boom. I mean that that's what happens at highs though. They 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 jam it. See where the baby's gonna go. Let's go over to the, well, let's go over to the dollar for a second. Let's see what this dollar's doing. Yeah, the dollar just can't get going, man. <laughs> this is, yeah, flattening out. And you know, you get summer trading all of the above, but guess what, it doesn't matter. What matters is that either, you know, you're gonna make it or you're gonna break it. We gotta take a look at uh, some of the, well, let's go look at uh, Tesla first. We're gonna look at some of these so Tesla right now, that's trading up seven and a half dollars. Now you can see this is how it's supposed to work when you get volume. I mean, when you get buyers, but Tesla's taking high out with volume, man. You know, you get 118 million, you only need 119 million. Let me put this on a weekly. You're inside a higher range. I mean, Tesla looks like it's 313 is probably game. You still get buys in Tesla, there's no doubt about that. We get Apple. And Tesla reports, thanks, thanks, Duffy. Let me see what day this is. Okay, so Tesla is reporting on the 19th. That's Wednesday, okay. So we go take a look at Apple. Apple's got 36 million shares. That's going for its high, too. 194.48 is the high. We hit 194.32 all, all, so far. Microsoft. Microsoft got a lot of stuff going for it, man. I mean, let me look at this for a second. It's going to be amazing when Microsoft actually takes over Activision because, oh, I know what I can do right now. So Microsoft is... Look at this, unbelievable, man. Microsoft is running 55 billion every 90 days right now. And One second. Yeah, here we go. Okay. So Activision is running. Okay, so that, that's not much, but Activision is running $9 billion. So, they, I mean, they're, they're going to be taking over that company. That's like nothing to, to Microsoft. That's pretty amazing. And then, of course, you got the A AI deal, right? MSFT. So I pull this in. And then what's, what's happening with Microsoft, which is amazing, man, is that 
they definitely, I mean, the subscription-based business, they're getting it all over the place, man. And, you know, the, I, I'm not a gamer, but on the, the subscriptions for, you know, the spreadsheets, the word and all of that, they're, 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 that's a good value. I mean, I think it's a good value. I mean, you know, so it's not like something that you're getting taken to the cleaners on. Yeah, I mean, Microsoft's been on a one-way trip. Take a look at this, what, three, six, six months ago, it's a 219, here it's 345. <laughs> oh man, what a trip. Google, we go take a look at Google out here. Google's going after a swing high. Not even close to its highs, but Google's starting to get some juice into it. And then you have, you know, the Gary Gensler, the head of the SEC. What, it, what has happened is that he's out there today. Now, this is going to get really interesting because we've all been used to the aspect of what ends up happening is that when funds, and this happens all the time, funds always get into the same. They, they mimic the S&P. They mimic the NDX 100. If they, if they see a... You know, like they mimic Warren Buffett, okay? Um, what Gensler is worrying about now is this. So check this out. I can see how this could really throw a wrench sometimes into markets beyond belief. He's thinking that, that AI itself is going to basically, it could get large funds, small funds, all of the above, into the exact same positions at the exact same time. Um, so you can imagine if that if that's ever the, if that if that ever comes down, um, you know the SEC is going to have a they, well they already have a huge amount on their table uh, on their plate rather with what's the you know Bitcoin and cyber tokens in general. But this is adding a whole nother deal to it. There's no doubt about it um, as to you know how AI will generate where you should be, when you should be, that's on the way in and the way out. That's, that's what the difference is, okay? And of course, on the way in, it doesn't matter. You know, you're chugging up, right? Everyone likes the market that's going up. On the way out, the doors are never wide enough. That's how it works. Dow, Dow Industrials right now up 123, NASDAQ's up 139, S&P's up 22. Stay right there, folks, we'll come right back. If you're looking for potential trading setups in the stock market, then Rocket Equities and Options Report is a newsletter you should try. Tommy O'Brien delivers options and equity trades when the markets present them using a combination of fundamentals and technicals. Sign up for Rocket Equities and Options Report today with a 30-day money-back guarantee so you have nothing to risk. For all the details and to start your subscription today, visit the front page of TFNN.com. TFNN, educating investors. You might think that if you want to be successful at trading in the stock market, you're going to need a crystal ball. After all, it's impossible to predict the future, right? Like any endeavor in life, before you decide it's impossible, get some advice from the experts. You might find that it's not so impossible after all. For daily market overviews that give you direction on the key indices, selective stocks, and commodities, subscribe to the opening call newsletter at TFNN.com. The opening call newsletter is written by Basil Chapman, creator of the trading methodology known as the Chapman Wave. The Chapman Wave up-down sequence gives you an edge in identifying price turns, finding the peaks and valleys in stock prices. Get the opening call newsletter by Basil Chapman in your inbox every day. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know, and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. TFNN.com, educating investors. Biotech is booming, but for how long? Whether you think the biotech bull has room to run or has run its course, 
Trade LABU or LABD. Directions Daily S&P Biotech three times bull and bear ETFs. Visit directioninvestments.com slash biotech today. An investor should consider the investment objectives, risks, charges, and expenses of the direction shares carefully before investing. The prospectus and summary prospectus contain this and other information about direction shares. To obtain a prospectus or summary prospectus, please contact direction shares at 866-476-7523. The prospectus or summary prospectus should be read carefully before investing. An investment in the funds is subject to risk, including the possible loss of principal. The funds are designed to be utilized only by sophisticated investors, such as traders and active investors. Distributor for Side Fund Services, LLC. TFNN has launched the Tiger's Den, hosted at Discord. TFNN has been educating traders for more than 20 years with live programming hosted by a variety of professional traders during market hours. The Tiger's Den, available to all tigers and tigresses for just $1 for the year. There's no catch or added costs when you join our community of traders. Sign up today and become a part of this educational community of traders. Just visit the front page of TFNN.com. This program is brought to you by Vista Gold, traded on the NYSE American and TSX under the symbol VGZ. I'm Orion. Welcome back, folks. Like Dow. Dow Industrials right now trading up 120. Got the Nasdaq up 140. S&Ps are up by 23. Let's get into the uh, W. So right now... The 10 years yielding 3.8. The high's been 4.06. That's the last three months. The last year, it's 4.2. Look at this. The difference is still huge, man. Wow. So this, this 2.5 is going to be dropping off. 2.5 seems a long time ago, but yet it's within the last 12 months. That's a mind blower, actually. Wow. That's going to be dropping off this quarter for sure. 2.5 to 4.2. Two, the TLT, which is the 20 year plus, you can see that that actually never got out of its range. That went right down to the bottom of the range, literally to the bottom of the range. That's interesting. So the TLT got to the 99.48, it hit 99.21, rejected it, did reject it with light of volume, 23 million. I don't know, 24 million, a million. So that, that, that's back in the range. That's saying, hey, guess what? Now we're going back up the other side. This whole interest rate structure is going to be so wild, folks, watching, because, you know, the reality is, is that it runs just about everything. There's, there's no two ways about that. And uh, we're at high interest rates right now in, in a monster way. And, yes, the money keeps piling in because there's money, there's more money out there than I guess we realize. Inside the gold market, uh, bottom line is that, you know, I, I finished, to do the, I do the gold report on Mondays. This gold market's in great shape, man. That's the bottom line. I go through about 30, 35 stocks, and, you know, they, even some of them that a week actually look pretty good, which that's when you really know that, okay, this wants higher price. If we go to the GDX, we take a look at the GDX. GDX out here trading. 32, and you can see it's, you know, bottom line is that we had gone up, but with 44 million made a high out here with 15 million to pull back with eight today. And then what you also have is a high volume high at 36. So we got some action here in, inside the gold market. Let me pull this back a little bit more. Yeah, you got one, two, so thus far off the lows, we get two higher highs and two higher lows. You know, bottom line, we get one more going and really get some action. But that is saying higher prices are coming at us. If we go take a look at Aniko Eagle, same setup. They almost all have the same setup. And that's what, that's what does happen inside the gold market, as well as the silver market. P-A-A-S. They all kind of trade together. We take a look at PAAS, same setup, even a better setup actually, because this rejected 1562 today. We're already at 16 bucks. Don't take this swing out. Now, see, this gets interesting. You don't want this to go to 1617 today. I don't anyway, <laughs> uh, because it's not going to have the volume. 
Tomorrow, yeah. you bang, you jump that 16, 17, and then you are off to the races. So let's go. We get a couple questions on Ma, Bell, and Verizon. This was a delayed reaction. It's pretty wild, man. Um, we took take a look at Ma Bell first. And I believe what this is probably about, it's probably about the Wall Street Journal had a huge front page story about the cable that's been laid across the United States, and the cable is lead. So, of course, lead, folks, okay, you know, is one of the worst things out there for, for our health in a monster way, not in a small way. And let's take a look. So now we know what's going to happen. You know, the next thing is that the, the attorneys are going to be all over this. This is going to be some real money. Yeah, this is breaking all those, man. That's, so let me get this closer to see what we're really doing here. Okay, so it's... Okay, so it's the 17th. Right now we have five, six, we have 10 trading days, 1.1 million. It's going to be close whether you're going to take the swing out with volume or not. So the number to keep your eye on is there is actually 1445. That's on Ma Bell. Now at this price, Ma Bell is still paying a, well, it's paying an 8.18% dividend. Uh, that's going to get dicey. When you start getting up to those levels, I mean, they've been paying dividends forever. But bottom line is that you, you start looking at an 8% dividend, and that's, that's a big number. Verizon's down 236. This is really getting taken. Let me see this. Okay, so. Okay, this is taken out 585 million yeah, you're 300 million. We'll see if this stays up, because if it stays up, this will be a big ABC down. 34.55 is the number to keep on here. And if we take a look at Verizon, that's paying, that's paying an 8.25% uh, dividend also. And I suspect, yeah, well, they're saying what's going on with the shares. What's going on with the, that, that I would say it's pretty clear what's going on with those shares. What's going on with those shares is all about toxic cable. Because <laughs> toxic cable, bottom line is that some of it's buried, some of it's up above, all of the above. It's, it's a problem. And who knows? Uh, and it, now these are cables that aren't being used anymore either. So that gets really interesting as, as the aspect of. Can they just leave them there, right? You know what I mean? So that gets pretty strange, actually. Let's go take a look at a few of the South African gold equities, because these are a little, these, these, these are close call, and it has to do with the RAND. And if I look at an Eco Eagle, I mean, uh, Anglo Gold, yeah, it's not bad. Same type of setup. It rejected lower price out here today. I think this will get some flack coming into the, 21, 23.99, but this also has a high volume high. I mean, you get when you get the high volume highs out there, folks, and things turn, and they're going for them. The bottom line is that that's what you want to really look at closely because that's that's when they go for them. That's and I know that seems a long way off, meaning those high volume highs out there, but they're not. <laughs> they're not not inside the gold market. So this will be interesting here, watching this whole thing shake out, because right now, inside the SPY, as well as the Qs, it looks to me like you're going to, actually, it's going to be subtle, but there's going to be a failure of price and volume, because the SPY right now has to close above, well, it's close, no. It's 451.36. That is a, that's below it, but only by 15 pennies. And then the Qs... Three eighty-two 
86. Stay right there, folks. Come right back. Are you ready to take your trading to the next level? Introducing Tom O'Brien's award-winning newsletter, Market Insights, your key to successful active trading. Tom O'Brien, renowned for his expertise in the financial markets, has designed Market Insights to be your daily guide to profitable trades. Tom publishes his daily Market Insights newsletter every market day before the market open, along with updates when warranted. Stay ahead of the game with Tom's real-time analysis and trade recommendations delivered straight to your inbox. Whether you're a seasoned trader or just starting out, Market Insights provides the edge you need to navigate the markets with confidence. Ready to join the ranks of successful traders? Head over to TFNN.com and subscribe to Market Insights today. Don't miss out on this opportunity to supercharge your trading results. Market Insights comes with a 30-day money-back guarantee for all new subscribers, so you have nothing to risk. Don't miss out on this opportunity to revolutionize your trading game. Head over to TFNN.com right now to join the thousands of traders who have already experienced the power of Tom O'Brien's award-winning newsletter, Market Insights, firsthand. TFNN. Educating investors. You might think that if you want to be successful at trading in the stock market, you're going to need a crystal ball. After all, it's impossible to predict the future, right? Like any endeavor in life, before you decide it's impossible, get some advice from the experts. You might find that it's not so impossible after all. For daily market overviews that give you direction on the key indices, selective stocks, and commodities, subscribe to the opening call newsletter at TFNN.com. The opening call newsletter is written by Basil Chapman, creator of the trading methodology known as the Chapman Wave. The Chapman Wave up-down sequence gives you an edge in identifying price turns, finding the peaks and valleys in stock prices. Get the opening call newsletter by Basil Chapman in your inbox every day. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know, and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. TFNN.com, educating investors. Everything in the universe is governed by the Fibonacci sequence. This mathematical principle is responsible for everything from the most aesthetically pleasing artwork to patterns in the stock market. To stay on top of stock patterns you can take advantage of, sign up for the Fibonacci 24-7 newsletter at TFNN.com. When you subscribe, you'll get a weekly report from veteran day trader Larry Pesavento on stocks you need to pay attention to. And you can trust Larry's analysis. After all, he's got 45 years experience as a day trader. Larry will also provide daily charts, videos, and data on the key markets that he's tracking. Expect notifications from Larry on market movement you need to act on at any time. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. Subscribe to the Fibonacci 24-7 newsletter today. TFNN.com. Educating investors. Don't forget, you can listen to TFNN live on your mobile device 24 hours per day. Go to TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. That's TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. Welcome back, folks. The Dow. Dow Industrials right now, uh, 113, NASDAQ up 137, S&P's up 21. So check this out about Tesla. Man, the amount of money that's in public markets is unbelievable. So the Tesla board, including Elon Musk, just gave up, this just came across the tape, 735 million in stock. They had a suit that was going on from their shareholders saying that between Elon Musk, Oracle, Larry Ellison, um, James Murdoch, the son of uh, Robert Murdoch, and Musk's brother, had a basically an inside deal going on. But bottom line is that this way you can see suits. <laughs> they're claiming that, oh, okay, I, we'll give it back now. 735 million. Unbelievable. <laughs> so the, the, deal, the deal was going to court. Uh, right now, the Delaware Chantry Court Chief Justice has to accept the deal. Um, wow, man. There's going to be oh there's going to be another case here we go the case the case when Tesla when I mean uh, Musk had the 55 billion that's going to go to that's that's coming up too so this is going to, this is going to get wild on in, in their case let's put it that way that that is some 
big numbers. Yes, and it, that would be bullish for Tesla because that just puts 785 million in stock into Tesla. Let's see, t t let's just see this for a second. This gets interesting. So, well, yeah, it's no big deal, really. Wait, but it, hey, listen, it's fa in fairness, yeah, I'm, I'm, thank God that that's coming down the pike. We take a look at the markets out here, and what you got out here, you got a spike high, folks. You got a spike high, you got to get a failure in price and volume. So, bottom line is that we'll see where this baby shakes out tomorrow. But uh, when you do take a look at this, what you're going to see, and this is what happens with spike highs, man. They wanted to see if there's any more buyers up at the top, and they didn't get them. You got uh, 451.36. Well, you got 451. Always remember, folks, the bear can claw your heart out, the bull can run you over, and thank God there's always another trade. Health happens in prosperity. Have a great night, folks. Have a safe night. Come join Tommy tomorrow morning. Kicks us off 9 a.m. Great show, folks. Go get them, folks.